Hello, my name is Lucas. This is A Bit of Lit. And I'm here to talk about a book that I started months ago. I read the first two parts and then I didn't read the last part. Uh, it is Moment in Peking. Uh, and the last part is called The Song of Autumn. And it picks up where we left off. This book as a whole covers the early 20th century. Um of China, which uh, follows a family living in Beijing, um, or Peking, as they say. Um, and it is written by a Chinese author uh, who was American, uh, living in America, and he wrote it for an English audience, but using it uh, as an exercise to uh, write with sort of Chinese tropes using Chinese philosophy and, and um, ideas from uh, Chinese literary forms. Um, and it follows this well-off family as they uh, see things happening in their country, completely, utterly drastic things all throughout. There's rebellions, there's the end of the Qing Dynasty, there's warlords, and then finally in this part um, comes the Chinese uh, Sino-Japanese War, um, as well as the splitting factions of um, China in terms of the Guo, uh, KMT. Uh, Kuomintang uh, and the uh, communists uh, because of the actions of the uh, Chinese government um, during this time and when it's still a warlord kind of situation going on. Um, anyway, in this last part, uh, the first half of the last third of the book <laughs> Uh, has to do with uh, the civil unrest uh, bubbling over uh, from basically people feeling like uh, the government was selling their people out uh, and that's upsetting the youths and then their responses to uh, especially one moment in here is the res the government response to um, um, university students' protests, and that really riles up the people, radicalizes them to join uh, the KMT or the communists, um, who by the government's standards are essentially the same. And we've got one of these uh, main characters caught up in the mix. He is in support of the KMT. Um, and shortly before he gets arrested, his wife burns any sort of evidence and there's this really interesting uh court scene case uh where uh he has to prove that he's a filial son and uh has confucius ideals and this kind of thing um for the sake of the judge and uh ultimately it doesn't work out because the judge had already predetermined what he was going to do but um yeah this last part, uh, the Song of Autumn, has to do with that uprising tension. Uh, and then, because Japan had already been, you know, started colonizing, um, you know, being quite horrific, uh, and had some land already, um, or they started taking land, and uh, then the war started, uh, but there were some moments leading up to that, uh, as well, um, with, like, <sighs> this book, <laughs> it's very hard to talk about this book, with, uh, recent news out of, uh, Eastern Europe, but, um, yeah, because in this book you just see growing tensions and the escalation of everything, uh, happening, um, and you see, like, the way Japanese are letting their soldiers 
off of certain crimes, uh, ruining the sort of Chinese economy through the ending of like uh, being able to take customs, taxes, and that kind of thing, uh, finding other ways to, um, you know, screw over the Chinese, basically. Um, and then ultimately it ends in war and the family that we, what's left of the family that we've been watching. Uh, it's really fascinating because they have all different kinds of opinions on what's going on. And another really cool thing about this book is very much like Dream of the Red Chamber um, in that, um, yeah, we're following a well-off family. We're seeing lots of different characters um, and we're getting a lot of them through like their interests, the things that they're wearing the the way that they talk to other people um and, and it, the way it's done is sort of in a very very different um you get a lot of um insight into who they are and their times and this kind of thing and the way it's done is quite different from a, a more traditional american novel which this is an american novel by a chinese author using um, Chinese literary traditions and it's really really cool um, in that sense uh, yeah I mean th this family like I was trying to say they have all different kinds of opinions on the Japanese at this time um, and they have their reasons they have sort of uh, in, in some respects they can be misguided uh, if they're sort of uh, dismissive of the <laughs> troubles um but they do sort of uh the way it's set up they do sort of have valid reasons for their feelings uh whether they're angry about what the japanese are doing rightfully so uh or more on personal levels why some of the characters um maybe not so dismissive but why some of the characters are not quite as strongly opinionated, um, especially Nyo Sunya, who becomes a, a concubine uh, for an officer after um, uh, divorcing Chinya, I believe, uh, was his name. And uh, then she also becomes a heroin dealer. And then this causes her trouble and she gets shot in the head uh, by the Japanese. Anyway, uh, it ends on a cliffhanger. There is a sequel, apparently. Um, I don't know. Uh, something about a leaf in the spring or something like that. I don't know for sure. Uh, it's a sequel, but it doesn't follow this family. But it ends on a cliffhanger. War has come, which is scary. Uh, and the family that we've been following, what's left of them, are running from their coastal home into the mainland in inward to the inland in hopes of finding peace uh, which they won't really have in the country till 1949 i believe this ends in 1937 1938 so i'm interested to read the sequel to this book i, I really enjoy this book i wish i didn't spend so much time uh, separated from it, but I did get caught up in having to do some other stuff and then put on the wayside, but I've been meaning to come back to this for a long time, and I'm very glad I did. It's very good. Uh, sort of the wrong time to pick it back up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's really good. So, hopefully I convinced you to pick it up. Don't pick up this edition, though, um, because it has some grammar errors find another edition um or, not grammar errors um but it has some like spelling mistakes and some weird typographical issues and actually there were a few grammar errors but i that's i don't think the author that's this edition um so and it's not like uh the grammar errors aren't from sort of how the person speaks uh it i think it's just mistakes made in this print uh but that's okay it's still a very good book uh find another edition if you're interested thank you goodbye